Good afternoon, everybody. This is Boomer Staddy with Spreadsheet Sports uh, coming to you with another lineup review and lineup creation all in the same. Uh, it's going to be an absolute fun week. It looks like it's going to be another high scoring week as, as from the projections are showing. So uh, we've got a lot of stuff to get after and it should be absolutely completely um, entertaining. So uh, this is the lineup review from last week this is the uh if you guys don't know we are in the fantasy pros um expert uh dfs contest every single week uh there's 77 of us we go up against uh each other uh each and every single week and um after a couple a couple tough weeks uh we actually finished in six this week um this was my cash game lineup and uh, as you can see it's kind of chalky um, there's two spots where it didn't do quite so well. Uh, the first spot is, uh, or as well as I thought it was going to be, uh, the first spot is Cam Newton. Um, I thought going up against Philadelphia, the ball was going to be in his hands a lot more. Uh, they decided to run the ball with Jonathan, Jonathan Stewart. Um, the reason I like Cam Newton in cash games is because he's got a higher floor because of the fact that he can, um, throw and uh, rush, but he also has a higher ceiling. Um, he can throw for a touchdown and run for two touchdowns. So um, that just, it allows his ceiling to be so much higher than what uh, what other quarterbacks have. And honestly, really the uh, way to go probably was to uh, save a save a hundred dollars and go with uh, Carson Palmer down at eight thousand. So that would have actually uh, um, won me about a hundred percent of my head to heads rather than about ninety percent. So um, and then the other one was Larry Fitzgerald. Uh, if I, I could have gone John Brown, I could have gone, um, but. I could have gone Ma Michael Floyd. I felt Michael Floyd was more of a GPP play. And John Brown, he was uh, questionable going into uh, uh, Sunday. And this was a Monday night game. So it was kind of hard to really kind of gauge that. So I like the decision, um, the process in there. And uh, I wouldn't change it. So uh, it could have been a lot better, but it was actually still really, really, really good. Uh, I want to go over a couple more things. Uh, Devontae Freeman, obviously, 50, you can see he was 50% owned. Um, he was coming off of, I mean, an unbelievable tear. We all know that uh, he had just a outrageous tear the last couple weeks. Um, so you can start to look for that ownership percentage to go down a little bit. Now that he's kind of come back down to earth, uh, Todd Gurley, 80% owned. If you didn't have Todd Gurley in your lineups, uh, I, he just – it was an unbelievable matchup going up against Cleveland. Um, that was the the most predictable 30-point uh, fantasy game that I've ever been, been around. Uh, and then a nice correlation play with the St. Louis Rams defense. Um, Mike – or Andrew Franks – uh, obviously he wasn't, anytime you can get 10 points out of your kicker, you gotta be happy, but he wasn't the best kicker of the, of the, the weekend. Um, uh, da, 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 who was it? Uh, Minnesota Vikings kicker, um, Blair Walsh, Blair Walsh actually had 20 points. Um, so that was, uh, kind of crazy. Uh, Michael Crabtree. I like, I love Crabtree for cash games. He actually has, he didn't have as big of a game as Amari Cooper, but just focusing on the process and not the results, uh, Michael Crabtree actually has uh, seven more targets than Cooper does, and he has uh, played less. Um, he actually left the game halfway early. Uh, Ladarius Green going up, up against Oakland, 16 and a half points from your tight end. you got to be happy on that. Uh, it's it's one of the, the things that, you got to kind of target, keep targeting, and keep targeting. With Antonio Gates out, Ladarius Greed is going to get work. So that's always good. Uh, T.Y. Hilton, I just felt going against New Orleans with the highest total. 
Um, T.Y. Hilton's good enough that with being the number one target, everybody was focused on Dante Moncrief. Uh, I thought T.Y. Hilton was the play in that one. So uh, this was just my cash game lineup. It was actually kind of nice. I had a good weekend overall. Uh, really, really good. Hope you guys did as well. Um, so this week we are going to have to look at a couple different things. Um, I've Obviously, we know that we're going to take this down. Um, I'm going to make this point. Uh, let's make it point three. Uh, we had point two last last week, um, or we had point zero five. Oops, five. Uh, da, 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 season four, last three games. So point one five. So this will probably be my settings throughout the rest of the year. Um, let's go player history, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So let's just do that right there just like that. So uh, let's see what the manual adjustments are EJ manual Michael Vick we can delete that uh, let's project that um, Ben is going to be back we can take out the Martavius Bryant um, because actually let's put that back up here Let's just do this. Let's do doink, doink, doink. Let's just do that right there. <laughs> so I can make sure I spell it right. So we can go through there. That's good. Um, and let's find out what we get right now. Now, this is obviously going to include some of the Thursday games, and we'll go back and we'll flip it here in just a minute. Okay, so we got Tom Brady uh, going against Miami. Uh, I think that could be a nice little sneaky matchup um, if you are playing tonight's slates. Um, Justin Forsett, Jeremy Hill, Alshon Jeffrey, Julian Edelman, Steve Smith, Greg Olson, Kansas City's defense going up against Detroit. I don't mind that at all. Um Chris Boswell, uh, Pittsburgh's kicker, awesome. So this actually looks like a pretty chalk, uh, pretty nice little lineup um, that we can do. Uh, let's go back here to projections, scroll a little bit. Oops, let's just extend this. I can't hear, that was my mail. Uh, don't forget that we do have another London game this week, so um, let's exclude the two the Thursday and the Sunday morning game and click and see what we come up with. All right, Cam, Forsett, Jeremy Hill, Julio Jones, Alshon Jeffrey, Steve Smith, um, Tyler Eifert, uh, New Orleans, and the and Matt Bryant. Um, New Orleans is at home. That this would be the this would be a great cash game lineup, except for the fact that it's got Jeremy Hill and um, the New Orleans defense in there. Um, you can flip flop those two and throw it in your cash games. I think. Uh, that would be kind of nice, but it's got a nice even lineup. There's not anybody that's outrageously breaking the bank. Um, FanDuel surveys are, um, or FanDuel salaries this week are a little, uh, I don't know, they're, they're easy. So don't get, my advice to you is don't get caught into a rut of making um, the, ultimate chalk lineup 
uh, for your GPPs because I think everybody's going to have it on FanDuel because this is so easy. Um, put a little bit more thought and put a, bit, a little bit more uh, um, depth into your lineup. That way you can uh, make sure you differentiate yourself. Uh, and then obviously we'll have the ownership percentages uh, tonight so we can kind of see where the public is going on this and we can kind of adjust and adapt as we need to. So, all right, let's flip over here to DraftKings and click and see what the lineup is for DraftKings. That Pitt Cincinnati game I've been looking at a lot. I like Antonio Brown, uh, especially with um, Baltimore back or Big Ben back. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not sure I like Crockett Gilmore here. I love Chris Johnson this weekend. Um, absolutely love Chris Johnson. So uh, Jonathan Stewart uh, going against Indianapolis. I don't mind that. Um, Hopefully he can get in the end zone because he did have over 100 yards rushing. So I like this again. Uh, so if you're going, I again, I still, I, I think the Saints defense is a nice, nice, nice um, tournament play because they are at home going against the Giants. The Giants haven't really done a lot this year. Uh, and Eli is, Eli is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde right now. So, um I, I don't know if it's the plays that they're calling or if he's just being – I'm not sure really what it is. So um, you can uh, you can take it for what it's worth, but I think the uh, Saints defense is definitely in play this weekend. So uh, I do like Drew Brees at 6,700 just to kind of point this out a little bit. You can see our projected uh, value is pretty nice um, on him. Also, Cam Newton, Andy Dalton, I think, is going to have a good game. Uh, this could be the game, though, that uh, Dalton has that uh, that letdown game just because of everything that has gone on before this year. So, um, all right, guys, that's it for me for NFL this or uh, today. Uh, look for the Fantasy Hub article on the Fantasy Hub blog tomorrow and the plays for cash and GPP on Saturday. Uh, good luck to everybody. If you have any questions about NBA or NFL this week, please hit us up on Twitter, at Sheet Sports, or myself, at Boomers DFS Daddy. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get the updates automatically whenever I post videos. And be sure to join in the conversation on the Google Plus community. So uh, for Spreadsheet Sports, I am Boomers Daddy. Goodbye, everybody.